The tub has been marked and is ready to cut. Safety is of highest importance, and it is critical to remember to use the proper safety equipment when cutting the tub. Protective eye and earwear, as well as a filter mask, are strongly recommended. Clean cut products can be installed in acrylic, fiberglass, steel, or cast iron tubs. For this demonstration, we'll be cutting and installing a clean cut convertible on a steel tub, but we'll identify similarities and differences when installing on acrylic, fiberglass, or cast iron. On acrylic, fiberglass, or steel tubs, use a side grinder with the diamond blade, such as this one, to make necessary entry points for the reciprocating saw blade. For cast iron tubs, the side grinder with the diamond blade is the only cutting tool used. The process for cutting cast iron is slightly different. Due to the significant amount of dust created when cutting a cast iron tub, it is recommended that you cover all tub and exposed bathroom walls and surfaces with a two-ply drop cloth to minimize the amount of dust that can settle. Vacuum the dust and shavings as you cut the tub. As mentioned earlier, it is recommended to have a vacuum attachment on your grinder to minimize dust output. Be cognizant of potential safety issues when cutting the tub, such as sparks generated during cutting, as well as items that may be located within the tub wall, such as water lines, insulation, or other items. For demonstration purposes, a steel tub will be cut. The first entry cuts will be made with a side grinder. The remainder of the tub is cut using the reciprocating saw. Remember, when cutting cast iron, you will continue to cut using the side grinder. We are now ready to use the reciprocating saw. Cut out the bottom and downward markings on each side of the tub. Once the four downward cuts have been completed, finish by cutting the two adjoining top pieces. The opening for the clean cut product is now complete and you can remove the cutout section. Use caution when removing the cutout section as there may be sharp or jagged edges both on the cutout segment and along the edges of where the cuts were made on the sides of the tub. It is helpful to spend a moment to file down any potential areas that are jagged or uneven. This prevents potential snags with fitting the clean cut product and reduces the risk of potential injury. After the cutout section of the tub has been removed, take a few moments to clean the area in and around the tub. Remove the drop cloth. Using a dustpan and broom, sweep all dust and shavings. Complete the cleanup by thoroughly vacuuming the entire area.